Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over the new updates to Adobe Muse that came out on November 2nd. Um, it is now Adobe Muse uh, 2017. And actually, while I was at the conference, uh, they updated it, which was kind of cool. I was talking to the Adobe Muse team and they were getting ready to, to launch this new update. Um, so there's a lot of really great updates in this uh, in this release. Uh, so I'll go through the first one here is Adobe Animate CC integration. You can drop an Adobe Animate CC composition directly into the design canvas from your CC library. Uh, so I'll go ahead and open up Animate here. And here I'll just open up a template. So I'll go to templates and let's find an interesting animation. So here we have a few. We have random movement brownium, um, just a few different ones here. Um, I'll do scripted snow for this one. So I'll click OK. And then to view it, I'll go to control and test just to see the snow. There we have some random snow that was created in um, Adobe Animate or Animate CC here, yep. So I'll close this. And all we have to do here is open up our CC libraries. Um, if you don't see your CC libraries, you can go to window and click on CC libraries and it'll open it up. And here I can just click on the plus symbol and here we see that the entire animation is selected and I can just click add just like that. Um, first I have to save the file, so I'll click save and upload. So here I'll say, I'll just name it anything and save it in a folder, call it animation two. And there it saves to my CC libraries. So now I can just go into Adobe Muse and I'll create a new site. I'll show this, uh, I have an example site here that I'll show in a second. And I'll go to file new site here. I'll click OK, double click on the home page. And here I have my CC libraries in Adobe Muse. Um, if you don't see your CC libraries, you can go to window and click on CC libraries. So I'll open it up and I'll go scroll down. Um, so you have your colors, your graphics, and then if you keep scrolling, you have your animations. So here I have animation two, and all I have to do here is click hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. And just like that, I have an animate CC animation on my website. So there we can see the snow falling. Um, it's just that simple. Just add it to your CC libraries and then drag and drop into Adobe Muse. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I'm going to hopefully you know, create a few tutorials on, on Animate CC. Um, it is, for those of you who are used to Edge Animate, um, it is a bit different. It's using keyframes and things like that, but um, I'll try to create a few tutorials on using Animate CC. Um, the integration is really great because now you just add it to CC libraries and you can use it in Adobe Muse. So on to the next one, um, there's Animate CC. Uh, the next one is Creative Cloud Asset improvement, Improvements. You can archive and restore all your assets stored in Creative Cloud, Creative Cloud libraries, assets created with CC desktop products and mobile projects. Um, so that's just uh, an improvement there. So the next one is Typekit Marketplace Integration. Uh, you can buy fonts and use them in your Adobe Muse CC projects using Typekit's font sync and web technology. So if you're used to buying fonts, you can now uh, sync them with uh, Typekit here. Uh, and this one, I'm really excited about the power zoom. So just to demonstrate that, I'll read this here first. So it says, save time looking for content on your website by using the hand tool. Uh, to zoom, pan, and scroll on a specific section. Uh, so this is really fun. So I have a sample site here. So here I'll just click on the hand tool right here. And here I'll just click and hold. And now I have the power zoom. So I can literally just go anywhere on my site by clicking and holding. And I now have this great power zoom tool um, as I'm developing my website. So you just click and hold with the hand tool. And now you have this nice red box and you just go around your website and zoom in to specific sections on your website. Very cool. All right. So there we go. And I'll zoom up right back here. All right. So that was another update. So library, the next update is library items retain breakpoints. So library items that include breakpoints when dragged into the design canvas now retain breakpoints allowing for faster widget integration with new sites. Uh, so for instance, um, let me go to like a blank site. So I'll go to file, new site. Um, I'll click OK, I'll double click, and I'll just um, create some text. Let me let me add some ipsum text. So I'll go to hipsum.co, and I'll just create four paragraphs. Here, I'll just copy this, just copy some text, and I'll paste into Adobe Muse. Let me zoom out and we'll just widen it here 
So let me zoom in here and let's make it responsive with. Okay, so it's responsive with. So here I'm just gonna add a few breakpoints. So I'll say 600 and this is just to add breakpoints. I'm not really, um, you know, too selective right now, but there I have four breakpoints. And let's say for instance, I wanna add this text to my library uh, items. So to do that, I just right click, add to library, or first I'll create a library item. So I'll go to library, um, I'll create a new folder and I'll call this text. And here I'll right click, add to library, and I'll add it to the text option here. Okay, so there I've added the text, I'll double click, and I'll say um, four paragraphs. All right, and you can do this with text, uh, pretty much anything. Uh, so what you'll notice is that there's now this little icon here in your library panel that says drag here to create breakpoints from the library item. So if I go to file, new site, and I click OK, I'll double click on the home page, um, and I'll go to my library panel. If you don't see your library panel, you can go to window and click on library. So I'll go to my library panel, and I'll scroll down to text. So what I can do, I can click, hold, and drag, and paste right in there. So as we can see, it didn't add the breakpoints. So let me delete this. Or I could drag it from this icon here, and I'll zoom in when I'm in in the editing process, I'll zoom in on these icons. So it's just like two squares and one has a plus symbol. So I'll click from here, I'll click hold and drag and paste. And there we can see it pasted in those breakpoints that I created uh, when adding to the library uh, panel. Uh, so that's a really useful tool if you wanna add things to your library items. All right, looks good. So the next one I'll go on to is a share button. So after publishing your Adobe MUCC site, clicking the share button displays options to share the URL of your site and a link to where you can edit your site using in-browser editing. Um, so I'm not gonna go over that. Just after you publish, you'll, you'll see a, a share button that allows you to do this. Uh, the next one is in-browser editing merge dialog. Uh, the, all, the all new merge dialog shows changes directly in the context of the design, also syncing changes from in-browser editing. Yeah, also syncing changes from in-browser editing is now a smoother experience. Um, so I don't work with in-browser editing that much, but if you do, um, you'll probably uh, like this new feature here. And then form-related improvements, we have the next one here. Uh, we have reCAPTCHA uh, version two. So MuCC 2017 includes the new iteration of reCAPTCHA that adds the checkbox with I am not a robot, uh, Google recently changed their keys that are generated so that freshly made keys will only work on this new version of reCAPTCHA. Keys that were generated before August before August will work on both versions of reCAPTCHA. Try it out and let us know if Google knows you're not a robot. Um, so that's just a form thing. So I'll do it on this site. I'll just go to object, insert widget, click on form, and I'll bring in a simple contact form and just paste it in there. So if we click in the widget options, uh, we now have for CAPTCHA, we have reCAPTCHA 2.0. If I click there, we now have this I'm not a robot image verification here where the user can click I'm not a robot. So if I preview, page and browser, click OK. Uh, and it says, yeah, the reCAPTCHA, the private keys are missing. You actually need to go into the widget. So you actually need to click on here, I'm not a robot, uh, this reCAPTCHA here, and then uh, type in your public key and your private key. I do have a video on reCAPTCHA, so you can just get your public and private keys from uh, Google, I believe. So just type in reCAPTCHA 2.0 and they should have a way for you to get your keys there. All right, so that was the uh, the form update in Adobe Muse. You can now use reCAPTCHA uh, version two. So let's go back into the release notes and submit button. Um, this is the next one here. Uh, with Adobe Mu CC 2017, the submit button on a form is now rendered using HTML and CSS. Uh, this results in high quality rendering on any screen and at any zoom level. Uh, so before I think the submit button was uh, a different format, might have been a, a bitmap or I'm not quite sure what the format was, but now the, the submit button will look a bit better. Um, so there are a few performance improvements and bug fixes. Uh, so improved performance of drawing, typing, and scrubbing when working with complex pages and multiple breakpoints. 
Um, so as we can see, there's a lot of new great updates uh, with Adobe Muse. Yeah, so with the submit button here, it's just a higher quality uh, submit button for, for different devices. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of great updates. Um, I really like the Animate CC integration and the uh, Power Zoom is amazing. I really love the idea that you can just go in, click the hand tool, hold it down, and just zoom in on the website. That's a really cool feature. So really like that a lot. And just, you know, the recaptured version two is, is a great update as well. So those are all the updates for the 2017 release. Uh, it was released on November 2nd. So the Adobe Muse team is doing a great job just making sure that Adobe Muse works really great. Um, and I've been having a lot of fun using the program. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, hopefully you'll find these updates uh, helpful for, for your own uh, design process or when you're using Adobe Muse. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.